Responding to customer pump requirements is not about selling a product, but rather more about a holistic approach. So could you talk to me on this approach and um, why it's so critical? I mean, perhaps it's even more critical now with the advent of the COVID-19 pandemic. And how is this holistic approach beneficial for long-term success? There's a whole lot of companies in the market that can simply sell a pump to the customers. But um, we have found that by taking a more integrated approach into the customer's um, requirements and problems that they have, we are able to keep uh, uh, our fingers on the total cost of ownership towards the customer's um, side of the business. This enables us to deliver a more effective and efficient solution and um, to, to guarantee our services that we deliver to the customer. Um, so basically by not just accepting an inquiry and delivering that specific product is rather to inquire as to why they are inquiring for that specific product and maybe work around what they really need and what they think they need. The company's technical team undertakes on-site assessments, which enables it to propose fit-for-purpose application-specific pump solutions. I mean, you, you briefly referred to that in your, your first answer. I mean, I'm sure there are people who believe that a one-size-fits-all solution could work for applications of similar nature, but we know this is not always the case. So could you elaborate for me on the importance of a fit-for-purpose uh, solution and perhaps why clients should instead opt for this option instead of a one-size-fits-all? So at the end of the day, the equipment, if it's selected for a, 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 to suit a specific application or a, a fit-for-purpose um, solution, as you mentioned, uh, the system can be guaranteed. Our work can be guaranteed. Um, the equipment lasts much longer when it runs at optimal efficiency. So this ensures that the customer has got less downtime and um, also more production turnaround, which, which we strive for. At the end of the day, if the customers are in the market to do business, we are there to serve them as well. So it, it obviously keeps us, um, our future open if we can keep the customer going. Last but not least, I mean, let's uh, let's talk about local or proudly South African, if you will. I mean, Integrated Pump Rental is producing its own locally manufactured product lineup. So, what sort of pumps will be included in this range, and for what applications will they be most suited? Where are they being manufactured? When did manufacture start? I mean, if you could just give me some some insights on that. Yeah, certainly. So, our slurry sucker is our liner safe dredge that we design and build, manufacture, uh, yeah, design, build and manufacture locally. Um, that is a, that's a totally so proudly South African product uh, that we do in conjunction with uh, smaller subcontractors to, to keep the, the, the industry, to support the industry with, uh, with smaller uh, production plants, production facilities. So we're not housing a major factory to do these bolts. Um, we design them and then we outsource them to local smaller guys. Uh, the slurry sucker, our pump flotation devices and our hose flotation devices are all completely locally manufactured to, through the means of subcontractors um, to support the, the industry. Um, our pump side of the local, local bolts would be uh, a locally assembled version, if you will. So we are the, the sole distributors for Sykes Auto Prime water pumps for, for Southern Africa. And our locally manufactured or local built pumps, if you will, will be a, a built with, with the manufactured, um, with, the, with Australian manufactured wet ends, the pump ends, and then we will do the rest of the build in South Africa in house at, at our facility at Integrated Pump Rental. Um, so, so, so the engineering, the, the designing and the building will happen in our facility and then we obviously uh, put top quality brand pumps on there which we uh, supply, which we are the descriptors for.